Hey, Plotter Pals. I'm Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, we have another update to Plotter, and it focuses on some great new features to the Notes section. These features have been highly requested, so we hope you're as excited about them as we are. So without further ado, let's jump in. So here we are in the Notes section, and right off the bat, you can see a few changes. First, along the Notes toolbar, you'll see some new additions, similar to what's already available in other sections of Plotter. We now have attributes, categories, and a sort function. Just like with characters and places, you now can add custom attributes to every note card as a way to ensure that you're keeping track of the most important details in your story. When you click on the attributes button, we can add attributes here. So let's add motivation and considering. You can also rearrange attributes or delete them by clicking the X button. And now when we click close, we see there's a new area for considering that appears in every note card. If we click into the details, we can fill the information in here for a new possible ending. We also have the ability to add categories to our notes to help keep our ideas and information organized. I know I'm personally very excited for this. If we click on the Categories button in the toolbar, just like with attributes, we can create new categories, such as theme or brainstorming, and we can reorder, delete, or add new categories as well. This time when we click close and then go into the details of this note card, you'll see in the top right corner is a section for category. So here we can choose brainstorming, or if I go down to hard work versus laziness, I can add a category of theme. And we can see the notes organized into their new categories on the left-hand side. Now when we go to filter our notes, we can still filter by books, characters, places, and tags, but we also have the option to filter by categories and any custom attributes that you've created. So for example, we can choose the category brainstorming and only see note cards that are associated with that category or choose brainstorming or theme and only see note cards associated with either category. And we can always click on the X to clear the filter. Finally, the last feature that we're going to look at in this video is the sorting function. If you want another way to view your notes, you can choose to sort them alphabetically by title, by which was the last edited, or by any custom attributes you've created. There are a lot of other design tweaks and improvements in this update, and you can read about all of them in the release notes. Let us know in the comments below which is your favorite feature and how you plan to use these new updates to the notes section. You can keep up to date with all our latest releases, tutorials, and walkthroughs by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy plotting!